Greetings, Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop. And today we're going to start a unique series that goes through the 3D menu. I'm going to go through each of these items to help you get started using Photoshop 3D. New Mesh from Layer. This allows you to create geometry inside Photoshop. There's postcards, mesh presets, cube, cylinder, donuts, has pyramids, depth maps, and the last one here, which is grayed out, is volumes. The postcard allows you to create a very simple geometry. Let me go ahead and turn this layer on. It's one of my wolf drawings here. The postcard is a very simple 2D mesh. As you can see, it allows you to move it around, kind of like a postcard or a billboard. Let's go back in time. You can create several different objects for this. For example, if you want to do a soda can comp, there you go, instant werewolf soda. These are all available inside Photoshop, the shipping version. These are not extras. They're inside the app. You can actually create collada files and you can add them so that they would appear here inside your presets. You add them in your presets folder. That would be another tutorial. Death map. Death map is a grayscale command that converts grayscale images. Um, basically, anything that's a light value creates a raised area on the surface. We can go ahead and I can show you. This is pretty awesome. I'm going to do the two-sided plane here. And anything that's dark creates lower areas. So you see all the dark areas are lower and the light areas are higher. And this is just bizarre looking, right? But that is the depth map grayscale. Now, let's go back in time another time here. Let's create a duplicate because the DICOM, the volume, requires two, two layers. Let's go ahead and select these two. So the new mesh from layer volume basically is a multi-frame file, which is used for DICOM medical imaging. Now DICOM stands for, it's an acronym for Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine. It's the most common standard for receiving medical scans. So if I created this volume here, and I said go ahead and do this by default, it's going to create multiple layers. It's a file that contains multiple layers or slices or frames which represent different layers of a scan. So if you have DICOM files, we can read them. So there you go. Those are the multiple things that you can do within the new mesh from layer. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. I can always do other videos that go into DICOM or the mesh, uh, the depth maps, grayscale, and things like that. And as always, thank you for watching.